Yeah, so we need to look now at uh, scenario two. This one was uh, scenario number one for the expected. We'll just copy this. Yeah, copy this up to that. Uh, copy. And I'll come and paste it just here. Paste with formulas. Uh, okay, it's not appearing as I wish it to appear. Ah, uh, here's some values actually that are not appearing uh -huh. can you recopy again I've copied that. I need to paste it here. Okay, so that is our, our second scenario, and uh, for scenario two, scenario two, we shall be calling it the, the optimistic, optimistic scenario, and uh, for optimistic scenario, so we shall start with the revenue what we had here as our revenue and we know for 2024 the value was 80 it was 80 thousand as our revenue and uh, the second value was direct cost the third value was uh, incremental and uh, these are the value was the one for capital capital allowances so that you get the profit before tax so our direct cost our direct cost we had a value <coughs> a value of value of what our direct cost direct cost direct cost <coughs> direct so our revenue was not 80 direct cost was 48 and uh, the revenue Revenue was our revenue, our revenue it was 150, 154, 154, incremental, incremental fixed cost. It was uh, incremental fixed cost. We had a value of 36, and our Capital allowance, I believe the capital allowance, so here we don't have, we have the second scenario, capital allowance is not applicable, yeah, it's not applicable, and we find that now the inflation rate will be 3, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, so 
So this entire column shall not have it. Yeah, the entire row we shall not have it. I will uh, cut this and I paste it here. Let me paste it here. Yeah, that way. I will merge this and uh, so we shall get that one that is giving us ref. We shall just have it. Yeah, so this one we can have it deleted. Yeah, that way. And that's all that we had there. And we'll find that now here what we shall change is our um, what we shall change this value here one plus so our inflation rate our inflation rate in this case inflation rate was three percent and uh, auto lock that for lock And if we lock that, therefore, full lock, and I'll enter that. And uh, we'll find that uh, oh, it was supposed to be. So here again, I'll change this. This I'll put. Partial lock. So it is this value. Yeah. I'll put partial lock here. That way. So it will be one. Ah. So it will be one fifty four. not adding up uh. <coughs> so this will be the one multiplied by one plus our inflation rate and our inflation rate under the second is three percent all of that value close the bracket and you enter so you get 150 158 and uh, I'll just do partial lock on this that way then I'll drag to fix this yeah that way uh, by this one it will pick the other the 30 yeah then uh, this one will pick V30 and that one is okay. So our direct cost will do the same for this one. So it will be this one. Uh, we'll open the bracket. So minus and I multiply by 1 plus. On plus whatever we had as our inflation rate, our inflation rate which is three percent, uh, full lock that value and you enter, yeah, and automatically that one has changed, that one has changed the same with this. Uh, value and you see this per second t32 yeah t32 yeah that one is okay 
and you just have to fill that one okay so for this one it is speaking w32 yeah and there it is okay then the profit uh, be for tax alt equals yeah the sum of that and i enter so it will be 70 and i will have to fill that okay yeah, there's some values here that are not it has not picked it with the negative sign ah, just a minute i format this Uh, custom and put bracket there and at the end uh, that way so this is supposed to be minus it's supposed to be a negative and why it is not picking uh, this is supposed to be a negative value Yeah, that one is okay. And this is supposed to be a negative value. And this one is supposed to be a negative value. T30. to be this value uh, that's supposed to include negative this already is negative sorry we multiply by one plus one plus three percent or even without doing that sorry and I come to this and eliminate that it will be already a negative yeah that one is okay that one is okay so this one this, this one is not okay i have to fill that and this one yeah that one is okay now yeah even that one is okay and that value is okay so our tax rate will be is equal to this value you multiply by the rate which is 30 30 percent tax rate for optimistic 30 30 percent and i, I will to fill that and i not picking up so this value multiplied by 30 that percent yeah, that way and uh, allow to fill that and again this one it's not picking up so it will be this one you multiply by you come back to that percent the tax rate yeah that way that way and uh, that's our taxes that we have so the after tax cash flow yeah this will be alt equals and uh, remember our tax rate sorry our tax rate is supposed to be negative yeah, it's supposed to be a negative sign. It's supposed to be a negative sign. Uh -huh. 
So negative. These are multiplied by thirty percent. And I can out of here that. Yeah, okay. And our auto this one and it equals these two. I enter my out of here that and we get our operating cash flow. Alt equals uh -huh. our okay. After tax cash flow, so here we don't have operating then because it should be the same the same value. It should be the after tax cash flow will be the same as our operating operating cash flow because uh, we don't have we don't have uh, the the capital allowance in this particular question. So those are will be our Operating cash flow regular even have finished under uh, the after tax cash flow. The next thing, uh, our uh, initial outlay will remain, uh, and in this case, uh, just allow me to calculate for let me just highlight this and delete this part. border so uh, I'll have my initial outlay here my initial cost initial investment and have the value here which was a hundred and a thousand and I have a uh, my initial working capital here and the value here and the value like that here the value to be 15 then it will increase these are initial they are the same value these are year zero they are the same value that shall have at the beginning of year 2024 the only thing i have included them as an our initial or initial outlay so that here it will increase this value multiplied by one plus the inflation rate the inflation rate of three percent the inflation rate of three percent and we lock this lock that value that way and uh, I'll auto fill this uh -huh. so just a minute this is partial lock So year two, it will be this value multiplied by one plus one plus a three percent, one plus a three percent, a three percent. So if we lock that value, enter that way, and uh, I'll. Uh, to fill that so that will be our working our working capital so increase in working capital I'll merge that merge this two so that we shall have incremental increase in working capital there so here it will be this minus this value and this one will be this 
I love this value. I love to feel that. Yeah, that one now will be the other value. W40 minus the other one. And uh, here, the next thing will be I'll merge that. I'll merge this. Uh, equals to uh, have tax savings will remain no so here the tax savings remember I don't have a capital allowance and we shall sell it at 20 and the capital allowance will be nil because we are not calculating there is no rate so it will not be available under this so our tax savings we sell it at 20 uh -huh. so there will be no tax savings in this case okay so here I'll first include my residue value my residue before tax before tax residue value I will include it here which was 20 yeah so I will have tax savings tax savings tax savings my tax savings will be equals to so remember we are selling at 20 uh -huh. so I'll just put the opposite 100 initial minus 20 that we shall recover I close the bracket by 30% our tax rate our tax rate our tax rate our tax rate which is 30 30 percent so we shall save 24,000 in terms of tax because there is no capital allowance in that particular case I think that's all so that our total here our total total cash flow our total cash flow so this one will remain for year one year two will be this value minus the incremental in working capital increase in working capital this will be this you minus increase in working capital it will be this you minus increase in working capital and this will be the operating cash flow so we add our incremental cash uh, working capital the total we shall recover we add the residual we add the tax savings so that's what we shall have at the end of that particular year and our this one because this is our initial I'll put them as negative as negative value uh -huh, no it will have an impact if I put this as a negative as a negative if I put it as a negative so instead of putting a negative sign here because it will have an impact and affect this value so what we shall do here when we are adding here we shall put equals we shall start with a negative i open the bracket this value plus this value and i close the bracket and enter then here it will just be direct this value here we shall take the cash flow for year two and i minus the outflow for this particular year the increase in working capital this one will be the cash flow here minus the increase in working capital this one the same cash flow here minus increase in working capital and the last one will be equal to the cash flow and here now we add the incremental we add the before tax residue value and we add again the tax savings on sale we shall get our values as that for our NPV it will be equals to NPV I'll tab 
our rate. So our rate we had it here. And this was our rate. Let me put a comma. So we pick our our cash flow. Our cash flow from year year one until year five. I close the bracket and I'll add my initial, which was a negative, and I enter. So I should get an NPV of 87. And my IRR, we'll put IRR, we'll put equals to, sorry, IRR, I'll tab my values, all the values are from the initial to year five, close, enter. So I shall have an IRR of 40 percent and our NPV of 87.336. That's how the second scenario was supposed to be done, the optimistic scenario. So the reason in this case where the NPV has increased and IRR has increased is because we don't have the capital allowance. Yeah, capital allowance was not applicable in the second scenario. It was a nil. And even in the third scenario, the capital allowance again is a nil. It is not applicable just put a bottom border there <clears throat> that way it was still not applicable so i'll copy this so that we go directly into our third scenario scenario three just copy that up to that point and copy and i'll come here and paste it yeah so before i paste there are some cells that are merged here. We will unmerge them. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I will first unmerge the cells that are merged so that they don't affect. They don't affect when I'm pasting. So I'll come and paste it here. That is where. Okay, just a minute. I copy it again. Yeah, just need to copy up to that. Copy. Come to this cell. And I do my pasting there. My pasting. So the first one will be our revenue. And uh, the second one will be our direct costs, and the third one will be our what? Incremental fixed cost. So this is our revenue, and uh, this one will be our direct cost. Our direct cost, incremental fixed cost. Yeah, that way. And uh, for this particular year, you'll find that in 2024, and uh, this particular, okay, have a scenario here. Uh, just a minute. My scenario here is, uh, you're calling it pessimistic scenario. This is our pessimistic scenario. I'll just change the color for pessimistic scenario and I will take it to be to use a green one. Our revenue here, our revenue was uh, yeah, our revenue, 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 and yeah, this is our revenue. So revenue was 119, 119. Our direct cost and just adjust this our direct cost our direct cost direct cost was this 
and our fixed cost our fixed cost fixed cost go back yeah our increment of fixed cost was 44 yeah that we may deliver so we can work now with that remember our inflation it is increasing so here is t30 so i change this value so it should be this value and here i will change this yeah so our inflation was eight percent in this case the inflation rate was eight eight percent and we'll do the full lock for that yeah it will increase by that value I find that this one will be 30 I think it has picked that value let me just see whether okay so t50 just a minute so for this one is uh, u53 and u53 is this value by the rate when you pick this it is a w53 yeah this one is one that we have increased by that particular inflation rate of eight percent in this particular case so that one is okay and in this case we are taking t54 yeah this one t54 i believe it is this value yeah and uh, it has picked again even in that case and our incremental even that one is it has picked t55 it has picked that by the inflation by the inflation rate by the inflation rate and our inflation rate t55 let me just confirm whether it has picked the right inflation rate remember our inflation rate in this case was eight percent so it was supposed to be eight and if we lock that value yeah that means it had not picked the correct value of the inflation so even this one i'll change this this one is not okay so i'll come back to the correct inflation rate and our inflation rate is eight percent full lock that i believe that one now it has changed it has auto covered yeah that one is now okay even this one i believe now it is okay yeah that value is now okay it has now captured the new inflation rate of eight percent the new inflation rate of eight percent so the profit before tax uh, profit before tax these are uh, out alt equals yeah the sum of the three and it is giving us three thousand now like out of that that one is okay our tax rate this will be equals to i'll put it as a negative these uh, and you multiply by that percent the tax rate the tax rate of 30 percent and i lock the tax rate fully lock the tax rate and allow to fill that yeah that way we will find that our after tax and that will be our our values that will be our values I believe that one already it has picked that will be our values there and uh, when you come to this one now here we shall have our initial investment which we have our initial was 100 our working capital initial working capital which we had 15 and we had the increase in working capital 
and then we had the what the before tax the residual we had the tax savings and then we had the total total cash flows that way so it is increasing by eight eight percent so i'll change this value so here it is picking as 40 so this one is wrong supposed to pick this and here We're increasing it by eight percent eight percent eight percent eight percent now eight percent is that full lock that value and uh, believe it has already captured or if it has not okay so here I will fully partially lock this value. Yeah, partly lock that so that it will come and pick. Okay, so so I shall take this and I multiply by one plus the rate of eight percent. Rate of eight percent, eight percent, eight percent. Fully lock that. Enter. I believe with that now, you can drag that. That will be okay. Because this one is covering fees sixty-three, and this one will be W sixty-three. Yeah, that one now is okay. I will find that. You have your increase in uh, your working capital increase in working capital in this case increase in working capital okay that way just confirm something here okay 20. 24 28 okay so that way so that our yeah these two already it has added this one rate has picked this one already it has picked even this one rate has picked minus this even this one so here our tax savings uh, shall just pick the value directly so this one is wrong our residue was direct which was 20 and even this is direct 24 so that will get 60 uh, 67 as our values that way Okay, okay, that way. So we need to calculate our NPV in this case. I think it has captured everything. So we shall start with our rate. Now our rate, which was 15%, put a comma, come back and pick your values. From here until the end close the bracket and you add the initial the initial outlay and uh, you enter so that you have a negative 77 yeah so that's how you're getting our now our um, NPV as a negative in this case our NPV is negative yeah, our NPV is negative 77, negative 77, just format that cell, that cell, that cell, uh, that to give me a bracket and a bracket, yeah, negative 77 is our NPV. And I believe I are already to speak, but we shall just calculate. 
our IRR just pick the values and I enter yeah it have an IRR of negative negative 9 in this case you will find that in this case under the pessimistic scenario the costs have increased eh? while well, revenue had already decreased in the initial case this cost had increased by 20% that's why we are having the profit before tax is less and uh, therefore suppressing our operating cash flow which are further suppressed by the increase in working in working capital and that's why we are ending up with a negative NPV and even a negative IRR again that's how that question under the pessimistic was supposed to be done and how the question and uh, the optimistic I think the optimistic was the best in this case yeah, the optimistic because this one was giving us an NPV of uh, 21 optimistic is giving us an NPV of 87 and under pessimistic scenario we are getting a negative yeah negative and even the IRR in that case is negative and that's all in this particular question that's how the three scenario the expected scenario the optimistic scenario and the pessimistic scenario were supposed to be tackled and were supposed to be done. In case of any query, feel free. Yeah, feel free to write a comment in our YouTube and we shall be able to work on that. So the other questions still are being worked on and they will be uploaded in due course. Thank you for your time.